What's up guys? Welcome back to Blackie Cool. I'm your host Gershon. Also, welcome if you're on Blackie Cool podcast listen to this here is listening to that there. Uh we're about to do a review of The Old Guard. It's on Netflix. So this is going to be a non-spoiler review since Netflix is so easily accessible to most people. So I'm not going to spoil the movie. I want you to actually go see it cuz it's actually really good. But before we get into that, go ahead and hit the like button showing that you like this video and hit the subscribe button showing that you support the content that's going on here. And if you're listening to this on the podcast channel, go ahead and hit it five stars and rank the podcast. That greatly appreciated and it helps me in the algorithm. So with all that out the way, let's get into the review of The Old Guard. So The Old Guard is about four, yeah, four warriors who are immortal to an extent. They can uh, regenerate basically. And they're in this in in this time frame they're learning about another warrior which they have to find charlie Theron is the lead actor in this and she's really good she's really kicking butt in action films right now she i still have to see atomic blonde but i heard that's really good uh i watched some of mad max and she was really good in it i just didn't like mad max myself it's just my personal opinion I didn't like it. But she was good in the parts I saw her in. And in this, she's phenomenal. She carries this movie beautifully. Her action scenes are great. Her dramaticness is great. I know that's not a word. But her acting is really good. And you go... She has some growth in her character from one thing to another. And you learn some things about her. The character development in this is not as intense or strong as I thought it would be. But there is some... And it kinds of uh, sow the seeds for a sequel. It's really trying to franchise this movie, which it can do because it's based on a novel, which already has a part one and a part two, and they're working on a part three. So go check out the novel if you're interested in that. It's called The Old Guard. Um, they actually got the guy that wrote the novel. His name's escaped me right now. They actually got him on set, and he actually wrote the uh screenplay for this movie and he was on set watching everything go on making changes to the screenplay to help with the movie and it it really shows that they took time with this material and really knew this material the way this movie came out i think it came out really good the action scenes aren't massive but they're good they're really good the hand-to-hand fighting is really good the gunplay is really good the visual effects of the healing is really awesome. You probably hear my kids out there playing. Uh, but the visual effects of healing really works. It's kind of Wolverine-ish, but a little more realistic too. So I like it. I like it a lot. Um, there's another actress in here. Uh, I think her name is Kiki. She plays Nile. She is really good being kind of the new recruit going through, you know, uh, trying to figure out what this is and what's going on and learning about her new abilities she is really good actress i really liked her hopefully you see her in more things i know she's probably been in something i've watched and i never noticed her i noticed her today she's really good but yeah that's my quick review of the old guard definitely go check it out it's on netflix it's apparently like um their top five movie on netflix now like out of all the movies they have uh, my kids are calling me, so let me go see what they want. But go check out uh, The Old Guard on Netflix. Really good flick. Really good time. You're going to enjoy it. Oh, there is there is some things that, like, there's this bad guy thing that you kind of see coming a mile away. Don't worry about that. It's not the best part of it, but it's still... It's okay, but it doesn't ruin the rest of the movie. The bad guy is not that great either, but the story is phenomenal. All right, go check it out, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, I realized my link to my uh, T-shirts is wrong, so I updated that. So go check out if you want to get a Blackie Cool T-shirt. You can now because I'm going to update that in this video and all my other videos. Thanks, guys, for support, and I'll see you guys next time.